Bozin, good evening. Hi from South Africa. Hello over there to Switzerland. Our first chat for the evening. If you can hear me, just give me a quick shout out there in the group. Atlanta, US, good evening. And actually, Oregon, also good evening. Miami, good evening. Guys are awake. And Poland. Actually, I, I wrote down all the countries that I could at the beginning. Lithuania, Australia, Malaysia, US, Bangladesh, India, Germany, Philippines, New Zealand, Russia, Austria, UK, Brazil, Spain, Croatia, El Salvador, Singapore, Thailand, France, Nigeria, Poland, Belgium, Netherlands, Mexico, Iran, Canada, Colombia, Italy, Pakistan, Bolivia, Israel, Sweden, and like Jay said, don't forget to take a breath there. So hi guys, very welcome to tonight's webinar. Currently, I am here in Philippines. Yes, and you should be in bed and sleeping. Philippines is what, like seven hours ahead, so it should be one o'clock in the morning over there. I know the guys, you guys over in the U.S., it's still earlier there, so no problem there. Hi, Taiwan. Good evening to you as well. And yeah, so there's a few countries here that we have not mentioned as you guys are coming into the room. Welcome. We've got a nice little group here going. Dave, hello from Singapore. Detroit, good evening to you, Eric, over there. Very good to see all of you. And uh, hi, Chetan. Yes, India, you guys, same situation as we in South Africa. We thought the lockdown is over. And then the government surprised us with an additional two weeks reset and reboot. Right. So all us inmates, welcome here to our webinar tonight. Get a free website with free hosting and a link to your custom domain for free. I am surfing all alone here tonight. So if anything happens and everything shuts down on this side, then, well, it's Selavi and it's all over for all of us. But let's get into what we are expecting. Uh, <laughs> yes, Adrian, you should get out more, right? What's going on? What happened in the world? Right. So let's quickly just run through this one again for all us WordPress users and those who are looking into the future and hoping things will get better. There are still 634 licenses, lifetime licenses left of the Brazil Pro WordPress lifetime license deal. And it's slowly ticking down. I think, you know, it's a very difficult time of the year to make a decision over 299 US dollars. So you just have to come back and keep checking the sticker at brizzy.io where it is. And then if you're still on the fence about that, yeah, well, it's a decision you have to make. 299 USD, that's what the 634 licenses are going for. And once that is over, it is gone, but it is still there just at a bigger price. Everyone can hear. Good. That's great. Um, yes, Dennis, the recording is always there. We post it later on. On to thank you, Herbert. Uh, who out there? Felix. Yes, Felix. Felix, thanks for helping out with that. Can I make an upgrade from studio to lifetime? Pretty sure. Yes, Herbert. What you should do is just drop the guys a line. You know, when it comes to making upgrades, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a reply. Right. And good to see Belize. Oh, Alberto, how do you pronounce that? Belize or Belize? Belize, right? It's a country I still need to visit definitely for that. Good. Let me go on. Otherwise, I'm going to get sidetracked here. Tonight, we're going to see how to get your free Brizzy Cloud CMS account. Those are big words. And all that means is how do you set up Brizzy Cloud free and how do you work with it? So I actually don't want you to have super high expectations for this webinar tonight. Just see it as an opportunity to relax a little bit and just enjoy the webinar because we are just going to look at the new features that were introduced into Brizzy Cloud Free. And actually, two weeks ago, Demi and I were here. We talked about how Brizzy Cloud Free had changed. And I made new videos for the YouTube channel. And then Dimitri told me on Monday, hey, dude, sorry to tell you, but you have to redo that. We've made a few changes as well. So there is still a small little change there, not a major change, but just a small little change so that you can also have now the ability to bring in one custom domain in Brizzy Cloud free. Right, screen is frozen. Dan, you'll have to reset. Um, this is the problem with the world at this moment, and I cannot guarantee you the best internet from where I'm sitting at this moment. So that may be already a factor, but if your screen is frozen and if you hear me, and I did that on purpose, then you just have to refresh. And we always get very good results from people who tell us they've been using Chrome or Firefox. And if you ever want to start a war, say something negative about Firefox, those guys are going to skin you alive. And we're going to look at the new custom links that are included in Brizzy. Right. Um, good. Uh, without a beard. Yes, I mentioned it last time. We'll get to it. But actually, I'm guilty. I've not shaved since last week. 
So tonight's session is going to be around an hour. And the showcase that I'm going to show you is pre-recorded because I'm going to show you how to bring in a custom domain within Brizzy Cloud 3. And for that, I had to pre-record it because you never know when that DNS resolution is going to happen. It can happen like it did in the video immediately. Other cases, it can take up to 48 hours. So I will be with you guys in the chat room. Do not ask me technical questions. And if you want to know more about stories, unfortunately, I cannot tell you more. I rarely bother the team to show me features for the future because just like you I, I like to keep and and remain surprised but after the first hands-on with stories i want to know more and the team told me oh we're tweaking we're tweaking we're tweaking so no stories no reveals tonight no nothing we're just focusing on brizzy cloud free and those new things so please no technical support questions uh, i definitely won't be able to help you with that Right, so yes, there is me with my beard, and I made a decision during this lockdown time to, uh, you know, do something different and, and keep my health up and all of that kind of mumbo jumbo. I was even thinking tonight to come in with a hoodie, but in the end, I decided, yeah, just take a shower before the show. So this is day 21, which was supposed to be the last day. And then last week, government decided to reset everything, and we started again with three weeks. So we're on our way to May 1st. Uh, uh, Firefox is useful for downloading Chrome. Now, that's what they said about Internet Explorer, right? Um, if I own Pro, is this relevant to me? Adrian, if you want to know how to set up a custom domain, like your A domain and your C name redirect, and if you want to know how to work with custom links, because custom links are also new to Pro then you can have a look at this. And I'm going to play around a lot at the end with jump links, how you can set up a custom link that jumps to a specific section on a page, things that you can do in Brizzy Cloud, right? So back to me, and I, uh, I'll talk about me and then you can talk a little bit about me, right? So I like to cook pasta, we went through that and this thing here in front of me, and actually there's another one up here and there's another one back there. And that's just a few of the microphones I own. Like I am this world famous singer, I cannot even sing to save my life, but I have this thing for microphones and what a way to waste my money, but I do that. Good, so let's have a look at what we are looking at tonight, how to get a free website with free hosting. Last week, we had some issues with video. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that tonight we're not going to have this issue with the video. First things first, remember that if you cannot hear the video to go down to the bottom left hand corner and check there where the little speaker is to make sure that it's all the way up so that you can hear the video. And then, yes, depending on where you are in the world, you have to remember that this video is streaming to, what, 50 plus countries tonight. So you may experience a little bit drop out in quality, but just hang on for that. Question for end of CK is, do we have to use both A and C name records or just one of them? Sadie, I'm going to answer it now, but the video is also going to answer that. When you are working only with a custom subdomain, you only need the C name, right? And, and I can give you this with confidence because I had done these videos in the last two weeks and I have tested it again and again and again. Currently, the way it works, if you want to do a custom subdomain, you only need the C name. But if you want to do a custom domain, like the one I'm going to show you called the Yellow Akadis, you will need to do A and C, both of them. And I cleared that very clearly with Dimitri and the gang. So you need to do that. Yes, you are able to watch a replay, but not yet. The replay only happens once this has happened. You were rough. I want to tell you, if you cannot hear, you have to refresh, but I, you cannot hear me. So um, that won't help. I can't hear anything. Refresh. Um, can you guys tell them to refresh, please? Refresh. My typing. Refresh your browser. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, DP. Good, good, good. Right. So let's hop over to the video. I'll be with you guys in the chat room. And then any questions that I cannot answer tonight, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to pass it on to the team. And then I will try and actually put them on in the comments on YouTube when we load them. So you get that feedback and not just me making the promise that I'm going to get back to you. Right. So remember to turn up your volume. Here comes about 42 minutes. The focus of tonight's webinar is not so much to build out an entire page, but to look at those things that have come into Brizzy Cloud Free. 
So there's a lot that we can actually show you, but as you know, time limitations and maybe I don't want to. It's just a matter of we're going to look at that. Let me just get into Brizzy here. And this is Brizzy Cloud Free. So everything you see that I'm working with is Brizzy Cloud Free. And the first thing is we're going to create a new project and then go to website and landing page. And this is where we have to talk about new features. So there's my project number four, and I'm going to call it Webinar, Webinar Demo, something like that. The first thing I want to touch on is the publishing because this one will take me some time now. Just in a week, just in a week after I've done the updated videos, there has been some changes and that is important. And this is why we stop here at the how to publish your page screen. How to do it has not changed, but what you can do has changed. Now, up to about a month or so ago, you could publish custom domains within Brizzy Cloud Free. And then we changed it. You couldn't. It was only part of the pro packages. And guess what? Now you can again, but there's one small limitation here. So let me just quickly go to the, where am I? Go to the Brizzy page to show you that. So you have to go and check the pricing and you'll find that all here at the bottom. This is the free personal and studio versions. And previously, like I said, where are we now? Right, so a few refreshes and we get everything. Let's see what we've got here for publishing options. And then let's have a look at that quickly. So the publishing is the custom domain. So for custom domain, you can link one custom domain in the free plan, three customs domain, uh, three custom domains in the personal plan and unlimited in the studio plan. So this is the change that came into effect this week that if you are using free, you can bring in one custom domain. And I'm going to feature that quickly, even though we have some tutorials on that, just to show you again how to do it, because especially for people who are new to this, this is a very scary area. So click on publish and then we go to custom domain and then we need to go and find our custom domain. Let me switch over and here I am at I want my name. Like I've said, I do not endorse this website. There are so many places that you can get your custom domain. And if you have a host, I guarantee you, your host probably sells you custom domains. I'm just here at I want my name and I've got two domains here. So let's see where we are. And what you're looking for every time when you are setting up a custom domain is this little thing here, DNS. Doesn't matter what it says, set up DNS, change DNS, manage DNS, manual DNS, you need to go there. You're looking for the A domain and the C name. So click on manage DNS. And this is the one, the yellowacadis.com, which I want to bring in. Click on edit DNS records, and we're going to work with two records. You don't have to understand what these things mean. Trust me, I don't, and I don't want to waste my time on understanding what it means. I want to get my website building, so I just need to get through this process, and hopefully I can forget about it after that. Remember, the two is the A and then the C name. A and C name, we're going to add the A, and then after that, we go to C name, we're going to add the C name as well. But let's go back into Brizzy. And the first thing we're going to do here is add the URL, the yellow, .com, and click on submit. And Brizzy is not going to be very happy with this one. It's going to say not found, not found. And the reason is this data that you have over here, you actually have to enter it here and point these guys to come over here. And once you can say once they are linked and they are resolved, you will have your custom domain appear within Brizzy Cloud Free. And this is the same for Brizzy Cloud Pro as well. So let's begin here with the A name. So the A name, and then this is your required data. So let's go for the host, copy that, put that there, and then copy the required data, put that there. And over here, you will see TTL, time to live in seconds. Don't mess around with this. You can just type in the default value there which in this case is 3,600 and everyone will be very happy with you. Check for the green checks and click on add. Go back into Brizzy and now here, 
just click here on refresh and even if you click on refresh maybe something will not happen do not worry about that now we have to set up the CNAME so we go through the same process again we're going to put up the host as WW and bring in that required data let's go back into our register and now we have to oh save DNS settings let me do that just quickly make sure that I've saved that okay so there we've got that down then go to CNAME and we go through the same process again let's go for this one www the yellow and you know if you run into any problems at any point if you've got a good host or anyone and you see here it has updated in the meantime excellent green green is for go copy this one and type it in there and then same thing over here 3600 and add that and what I wanted to say is that if you have if you are working with a good host or a register these guys you are paying them money and usually they should have good customer service and if they don't yeah well you should have checked that out before you signed up with them that's one of those kind of things you need to check the customer service in this world we live in that's what everything is about so I have saved the DNS settings and then if I come back here and I refresh maybe after a while now it says not found there we go okay everything is good in the land of Brizzy it tells me that we've got the current data everything is set up now what has to happen next let me show you this page that I have created over here and that's not the webinar demo it's portfolio display if I go and view it on the front end it's going to give me the subdomain of Brizzy so this one is going to tell us avocado 131 and what I actually want with this site is for me to see the yellowacadis.com.com. That is what we want to achieve with this. And this site that I'm showing you here currently, I'm going to show you within a day or two how you can create this kind of portfolio where you have your page. And if it clicks, it takes you into another page. And then you have a little back home button over there. This is all done with custom links and jump links within Brizzy Cloud Free off the topic let's go back over here so we want our URL now why does this URL not appear over here good question I just don't know to have it appear you have to go and click on edit project and that will take you within Brizzy and then publish here I'm not sure why this publish button cannot be on the front in the dashboard and then go back here go to dashboard and that will update that URL for you the yellow .com. but here is the thing let me just click on this again click on where we have our custom domain and make this large so you can read this note complete DNS resolution that is the word resolve resolution may take up to 48 hours sometimes I've been lucky it took me an hour or two and you know even though it says 48 hours I keep coming back and refresh and refresh checking it human nature so this may take up to two days so you shouldn't be in a rush when you bring in a custom domain and quickly want it to be live you may have to take a little bit time remember that so if it's not going to what is it be resolved yet what we are going to do is I'm going to come back and continue with this so here is the yellowacadis.com if we click here now to go to the front end what we want to see up here is the yellowacadis.com and in fact we do that was super quick it's probably because I kind of did it before so it just knew where to go and even if it doesn't show immediately and you have to come back a day or two later you can still go into Brizzy click on edit project and you can build out your page now the fact that I already have a live page let's quickly just make sure that it is indeed live bring in a block here update that and let's go view it on the front end Yep, there it is, the yellowacadis.com. And I know for many people that custom domain seems daunting. Don't care about it. Just try. The worst you can do is screw up someone's server, and they won't even allow you to do that. You cannot harm your computer, and your website, for all intents and purposes, should remain safe. And to close out these tabs for the moment. Right, so the fact that we can continue is good news for me. And what we want to achieve in this webinar is to show you the new features that has come into Brizzy Cloud Free, but technically speaking, also into Brizzy Cloud Pro, because 
custom links, we didn't have that in our previous versions of Brizzy Cloud. This is something new in both, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what do we mean by a custom link? I'm going to exit to the dashboard and bring in that page that I had just shown you. Now, what we have here, we don't have a menu, but we'll work with menus soon. We have here on this page these images. And when I click on this image, it's going to take me to another page, which means that I have linked this image here to another page. And that is going to be done with, well, what we refer to as a jump link. And the same for this one up here. I've linked this to go back to the home page. But a custom link, and with custom links, you're going to do much more. You're going to bring it into your menu. That is a great feature, so you can also connect it to your blocks. Let's do that, because I know this is probably one of the things that we know working with the menus in Brizzy Cloud. You cannot connect it to various blocks on your page. I'll build out quickly a single page here. So we start with the header, then let's bring in features. And we're using here Brizzy Cloud Free, so I do not have access to the pro version of the pro blocks. Then we bring in, let's say, a call to action over here. What is this one? Let me find a nice call to, I'm looking for big blocks here so it can create nice section jumps. Team, let's put the team on a dark version, this guy. And then let's put a contact form here at the bottom, light. Um, contact form that is free over here. Now, what is important is that you need to go and give these blocks names. You give them a name so that you can identify them. You're not going to give the top one, but from here you are going to. So what we have here, click on the block, settings, more settings, and then advanced. And over here you will see block name, and you're going to call this one features, right? Features. Let me write this down because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget it. I'm actually writing it down, and my pencil is out of lead. Features. Let me get a pen over there. Right, features. Then you can go down to the next block over here. Um, this one was call to action. Settings, advance, and I'm going to call this CTA. Just writing that down. This one was team. Team. And the last one is our contact form, so contact. And this way I'm giving each block a name. Team and contact. Now what I want to do is I want to add a menu here at the top and I want to link that menu so that when people click on it, it will take me to the various blocks on this page. So we're only working with a single page at this moment. We'll look at multiple pages soon and I'll show you how to create jump links to different pages as well as specific sections. So what we want to do is bring in a menu and I'll do that by bringing in a new block. Where am I here? Add a new block and then I will go up here and I will drag that block to the top. And for us to see it better, I will give that block a little bit of a different background. And then we have now a menu element. That's very important because you cannot create a menu without a menu element. Technically, again, you can. I've used it before by using the button element, but not ideal, right? So click and drag the menu in the element and drop it here. It's going to tell you to create a menu because guess what? You don't have a menu. Now, usually when we have many pages, that's where you will bring in those many pages. But in this case, we only have that one home page. First, we have to create a menu. And this is where I've seen many people make a mistake, myself included. And let me show you. The first thing is you have to create it and give it a name. Click there, and then I'm going to call this single, is it right? Single page menu. And then you need to click on the plus. Now, if you click outside here, you may start creating things here, and you're going to be surprised why it's not working. For example, if I click here on custom link and I say add to menu, nothing works. You have to select it. So even though you've just created it, you still need to go and select single page menu. Now go back, click on custom link and say add to menu. And this custom link will be brought in. On settings, here is your custom link or anchor. Now that name that I gave the block, that is your anchor. And to indicate the anchor, you have to put in a hash. That is your anchor 
direct. Hey, look for this one. And then we're going to type in here features. And then I'll just give that menu features. And then we will say save changes. And I'm just starting with this one just to show you that one and make sure I didn't make a mistake. I could be wrong about the hash. Let's close here. I'm just going to update the page and don't be disappointed and don't be blue because Frankenstein also didn't know that you have to refresh the page if you want to bring in that new menu that you had created. So either go up here or F control command F5. Not sure. Can you do command F5? And there you see it brings in automatically that menu. Why? It's the only menu it can find. So it brings it in by default. And if I click on this menu, nothing happens. Let's go to the front end. That's where we're going to have the ability to interact with it. I click on it and it jumps here to our features. That's quite a hard jump, I have to say. Hmm, very, very hard jump. Let me see. That says features, but isn't this one features? It's supposed to be this one. Let me see, advanced block name. Okay, did I get it wrong? Features, I thought I got that right. And this one is, should be CTA, right? Call to action, hmm? CTA, oh, 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 no, no, don't make a mistake. Uh, features, let me just put it back. This one was actually our hero image, right? So let me just, okay, so that was quite a hard jump. It would be nice to have some smooth scrolling in there. So let's click on this menu. And in future, to change the menu, you go over here to the settings, and this is where you're going to be able to change the menus that you have created. But we want to bring in the rest of these blocks. So go to settings, and then with the settings options open, go to menus, and then make sure that you select the single page menu and create another custom link. Then on the settings over here, this is CTA. And I'm calling it CTA so that we know what goes where. I wonder, do I need to click Save Changes? Probably. Add to menu, we add one more item. And this one was our team. 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 You can type anything in here. It doesn't have to be the same. I'll do that for the last one. Let's bring in one more. And uh, I made a mistake, right? I didn't type in the hash. So those are not going to work. Hash contact and contact form or contact us. I'm going to leave those two. Remember, I didn't put in a hash here and I didn't put in a hash here. Let's see what happens by forgetting those hashes. Update and then go preview it on the front end. And I do these videos very early lately in the morning because nighttime, the world is online and everything goes slower. Up here, our menu has updated features, hard jump, call to action. Nothing happens because we didn't put that hash there. But contact us takes us to contact us. So what we need to do then just to make sure that that menu is the way it should be, go to our menus, go to call to action, settings, and put the hash in front of it, brother hash, and then go to team over there, brother hash, and save, close, update, preview. And I keep saying, please give me a shortcut for preview. Please give me a shortcut for preview. Features we know works. Call to action works. And then team works. And then contact us works. Good. So that is how you're going to create custom links. And this is very useful, especially, uh, this is very useful, especially for single pages. But what about if you have multiple pages? I think that one you should be able to figure out very easily. So let's just quickly do that because previously in Brizzy Cloud, we didn't have multiple pages. I'm talking about Brizzy Cloud free. We only had the option to work with this single page. And then the guys one night stayed up late, didn't get enough sleep. And the next morning they decided to give us multiple pages in Brizzy Cloud free and rejoice. So what you want to do is create new pages on settings. You're on the sidebar in the left, on the left, you go to pages and currently we have our home page. Create a new page, click here at the bottom, add new page and it will create this. Click here on settings and this is where you're going to give the page a title, about. And then the permalink is that little thing that goes after the slash. Try and keep it the same and if it's more than two words, you have to put a dash in there. You can add some SEO meta, which I'm not going to do, and click on Save just to update that. Let's add another page, and we call this one Services. 
services, services. And then let's add a fourth page. Click here and we're going to call this contact us and permalink is going to be contact dash us and save that. Now the confusing part would be if I click back here on this page, how am I going to get to those pages? And you do that by going back to the settings and click here on edit page. Now it will load the about page and it will put the home page back in the archive, whatever you want to call it. So this is about page. Let's just put something here and put something at the top so that we know this is the about page. Otherwise we're going to get confused and I'll just bring in here text about about page. And let's make this big Montserrat click there and I'm using the scroll on my mouse wheel just to make it go quickly up and then give it a while a little bit more nice put it in the middle let's change the color and this is absolutely not a work of art but who cares about page what I'm going to do because I'm going to use similar thing on the other pages I'll just go and save this block so go here and save it and this is our about page so update that one and then let's go to the other pages settings here services edit page and we do the same so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in that saved block over here about page and I'm going to call this services bring in some services services would be what text team pricing services probably features I guess so let's make this dark mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, update this page and then we do the last page. So you go to settings and contact us and to edit and interact with that page, edit page. And we do the same, start building your block. I'm going to go for save block about page and call this contact us page. And we bring in a contact form. This one is easy contact. And let's find this one here with the map. Right, so what we need now is to bring in a menu. So let's start on the home page and build it out. Currently, and this is the big currently, there is a small limitation here. Let's start with that. We are going to create now a second menu. That's very important because the first menu is only displayed on the single page. Now we have all these multiple pages, so we want to create a new menu. I'm going to go here to our menus. Select or create a menu, create new menu and call this multi-page menu. And I know I'm going to make the Lilo multi-pass. Click here on create new menu. And after you've done that, be aware it didn't go to that one. So you have to select multi-page menu. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're going to make a big boo-boo. Now over here on the left, you have home about services and contact us. Select them and then add to menu. And similar to WordPress, you can drag these guys around. So if you wanted your services first. Uh, and why it doesn't want to? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so be careful. It seems to me when you drag those guys to the side, let me test that again. I'm going to bring in these three. If you drag them as submenus like this, now they're okay services okay okay good now I got them right so now we've created multi-page menu we say save changes and then we go out of here why do I need to update let me just update for good measure and then we go to our pages and from pages we are going to go and edit our home page now one of the things that you can actually do when you have these links on one page, you can leave them there. It's a very common way to do that. So what I will do with reorder blocks is drag it below my hero. And then from here, it's like a little area that can guide you to the rest of this page. I will bring in now, and I have to build out again, a menu section. So I brought in an empty block and I'm going to drag that empty block to the top. And from here, you'll build out something that looks like a menu. That's very important. There are no pre-made headers for you within Brizzy Cloud Free. In Brizzy Cloud Pro, if you click here and you go to blocks, you will see header over here with a specific dedicated block that has header features. 
But as you can see, they are not for you to be accessed. They're all locked. So what you have to do in Brizzy Cloud Free, you have to do that all by yourself. So what we're going to do is quickly build out something here, bring in a column. I'm going to duplicate this column, just add one more, bring in a button. And where is my friend the button? Button, button, button over here. Button, I'm going to say contact us. Contact us and I'll align it to the right. And then I'll do this. Then we bring in menu here where I want to add my menu. And you can see it says features, contact us, team, contact us. That's not the menu we want. So click on it, go to settings, and from here select multiple page and it will update to that. I'm going to align this to the right. Let's just put column in the middle. Don't worry about that. And over here, I'm going to bring in a little logo. Let's see if I've got a logo to go here. Open your file. Ah, I'll use this one that I've used in the other demo, the one that I'm working on. And what I'll do, make sure first that it's here on 100% so it doesn't crop anything. There we go. And then I'm going to drag this and make it smaller and put it to the left. Did you see that? Not rocket, right? Not a rocket. And then let's bring in a line. I can do something like that as well. Where's my line? Did I bring it? No, seems I didn't. Try again. Okay. And I want to have this at 100%. Let's change the color of that line also. Okay. So, of course, if you want to go full width, you can do that as well. I'm going to keep it boxed. But if you want full width, you will have to make a few changes. Where did that column come from? Hello. Okay. Let's see if I undo that. Hello. Where did that column come from? Control Z, Control Z. Wow. Thank you for doing some work for me I didn't want. Okay, it messed it up here. There we go. Okay, so now we have created this menu. We're going to update it and go view it on the front end. Click there, front end preview. And now we have our home page with our site menu at the top. And then we have this menu here that will take us to the different sections on the page. If I go up here to services, this will take me to the services page. I think you are not impressed by that at all. The question that many people have now is, how do I get this manage on my services page? And yes, currently you cannot assign that menu automatically to all the pages. So you have to add it manually. And at this moment, you may start hyperventilating wondering, do you tell me I have to go and do this thing again and again and again? Answer is no. There is at least a workaround for that. And the clue was in that saved block. But instead of a saved block, which is this one, we're going to go over here and click on make it global. The difference between a saved block and a global block is that when I use this block on another section and I make any edits to this one or that one, both of them will update. So if in the future I want to add a new page and I add it here, it will add to all those blocks. That's very, very important. And you will distinguish a global block with the little global icon up there. Let's update this page and you'll have to go into each of those pages manually at this moment. Now again, I want to say this, click here about us edit page. This is very important. This is something that is not ideal and we know it. We are working on bringing in that which is a feature called block conditions in the works. We bring it in, click here, and then go to global blocks this time, and you will see it over here. Click on that, and then just reorder it and take it to the top. Same thing in this case, you're going to say update. Now you go to the next page, services, edit page, and we do the same. Right, and drag it to the top, and update. And the last one. Contact us, edit page. And we do the same. And where are we? Global blocks. I think I need more coffee. For a moment, I had a mind lapse. These things do happen. Update. And now we should link, we should have linked all the pages. So let's go have a look at how this one is going to play out. Close this one so we don't get confused. Let's go to services. And again, I hope you're not surprised. It takes us to the services page. Same for the about page and same for the contact us page. Let's look at a few other things that you have to do here. 
this logo here usually takes you to your home page. How are you going to set that up? So if I close this one, go to any of these pages. And why do I say any? Remember that this block, this header block of yours at this moment is a global block. Any change that I make here will also translate to all of those other pages where this block is. So when I click here on this image, I have this little link up here. And all I'm going to do link to is going to type in forward slash home. And that has to be small caps, home. And that is my permalink for my home page. Don't believe me? Let me go show you. Go to the sidebar, click on settings. And if you go to home, you will see permalink forward slash home. That is the address within your URL for this home. Close here. So all I need to do, click on this image, link, link to forward slash home. Let's update and then go forward slash ugh, preview. And now when I click here and where are we? Contact us page. If I click here, it's going to take me to my home page. Voila. And I'm still impressed. There is my URL, the yellowacadist.com. And if I go to contact us, you will see it's the yellowacadist.com forward slash contact dash us. But what about this button here? With this button, contact us page, we actually want to come to this page. So let's close this one out. And what are we going to do here? Exactly the same. Click on the button, go to the link, and where it says link to, remember what was the permalink for this page? It was forward slash forward slash contact us okay and this is going to be step one of step two i'm going to show you so step one it's going to bring us to this page let's update and preview it and now if i look for example okay here i am where let's go to the home page and if I click on Contact Us, it's the same as that one. It's going to take me to the Contact Us page. But that's how you can link them across. But what's even better? Let's say, let's go and edit the Contact Us page. Here we are in the Contact Us page. Let's bring in some extra mumbo jumbo. Let's bring in a hero over there. And we bring in, let's say, another call to action just to make this page a little bit bigger. And now what we want is that when people click on this button here, it will bring them to the Contact Us page. But not only that, it will take them all the way to this one section on the page. So the first thing is, whenever you want to point something to a section, you have to give that block a name. And that's what we did at the very beginning. Go up here to the Settings, Settings, More Settings, Advance, and give the block a name. I'm going to call this contact dash form dash form contact dash form and I'm going to say update and now that button we go back to the button go to settings or link and over here where we have pointed it to this page now we have to point it to the section can you guess how we're going to do that we bring in brother hash and then contact dash form and then say update. Let's go preview it on the front end and let's navigate away from this contact us page first. Let's go to home. And then we're going to click on contact us. And there it takes you to the contact us page as well as the contact us form, which is not a form. I realize it's not a form. And that is a jump link. And you can create that also within your menu. So if you have a specific section or area that you want to add to a menu and jump to a specific section on your page, you can do exactly the same. So let's go back here to our Contact Us page and let's say that I want to add a section about learning and, and here you see Start Now. And I want when people click on it in the menu, bring them to this area here. This area, I first have to give it a name. And I can give it to the block, but guess what? I can even give it to the column. So if I go to the column and I go here to settings, more settings, under advanced, you will see CSS ID. So I give this column a name and I will say learn. That's maybe where my learn is. This is my CSS ID, which is like the name, the anchor link. Update this. And now let's go and change the page. We go to, no, we're going to our menus. We want to change the menu. 
we want to bring in a custom link now. Click here on custom link. Just be careful, it's still back to single page. Select multiple page again and add that custom link. So we have custom link here. Let's change some things here. And we're going to call our custom link and send it to the following page, which is the contact us page, which is contact dash us, and then to that section, which is hash learn. And then we're going to call this page learn with us fun with flags and we can even say open in a new tab if we want to do that save changes click here let's just update this let's go view it on the front end and now you can see that we have that extra learn with us up here but let's navigate away from this page again home click on home okay are we on the home page yes we are on home the yellowcadist.com so what do we expect we expect when I click on learn with us, which is a custom link that I've created to take us to the contact us page at the learn section. Let's do that. And it opened a new page and it brought me to this section. Note what I had done there. I didn't link it to the block. I linked it to the specific column. And you can do that basically with anything. So let me just close all of these and I'll show you what I mean with anything. If I go to the text over here, Go to settings and more settings. You will see CSS ID appears there. If I go here to the map, click on the map, settings, more settings, you will see CSS ID appears over there. Anywhere you see CSS ID, it's the same as an anchor link. You can just add a name there, keep it in small caps and link them all. You cannot have two or three words. You have to have a dash or a period, the full stop in there. And that's how you will be creating custom links. Of course, you can even create a custom link on a page. It doesn't always have to be in a menu. And I know this isn't the tutorial about custom links, but let's just do it. So for example, here, let's say over where, let's have a button here, a call to action somewhere uh, here at the bottom. Let's bring in one by ourselves, and we bring in a button and we want to, for example, talk about the features. Now you remember at the very beginning on our site, we had created that block on our home page that was features. So what we want is for people when they click here to take us where? Number one to the home page and number two to the features block. So you can put that in here. You go to link. How are you going to do that? Page is always forward slash home, right? small caps home and then a section, the CSS ID is hash features. So update this one. Preview it on the front end. And as we scroll down and I click here, it's going to take me to the home page and it will take me to the features. There we go. This is the one that we had created at the very beginning. Let's quickly recap what we had done here. First of all, I had created this single page and I had shown you how to create a link. And that link we had done with the menu item. Let me just go here to our home page, edit page. We had created these links, custom links, and we had used the menu element to bring them in. We had created that menu where settings here on the left. We'd gone to menu. We had created the menu, called it single page menu. and very important, make sure you select it. Then we clicked here on custom link, add it, and then we made changes to the settings here. To link it to a block or any element, a block is an anchor link or CSS ID, you just add your hash and the name of that block. And over here, you can give it any title you want to give it. And that's what we've done here to create this kind of what we call links and jump links and anchor links, how we anchor different areas on the page. So if you're working only with a single page, you can do this now. Previously, we couldn't. Without custom links, we couldn't do that. I used to get around doing that by using the button. Uh, the button worked perfectly for it. But now you have full control over that. Naturally, you're going to do some styling here when you come into this page and make a few changes to how this will look. Make it look a little bit better the way you would want it to appear on your site. And that's how you're going to style it out with this free menu element in Brizzy Cloud Free. 
Then we'd also looked at how you can create pages. That's over. That's done over here, over the settings. You have these four pages that we had done, and you do that by clicking here at the bottom, add new page, and then it will bring in a new page. Change the name of the page here. So this one we will call projects, and then you have to give it a permalink. A permalink is what will appear up here in your website address. Usually you just stick to the same one, projects, but if you have more than one word, like here, contact us, make sure you use a dash. And then it's a good idea to add a little bit of a description in there. It makes you seem more important, right? <laughs> click on save, and then it will have your new page. To go to this page and edit it, you click up here to edit page. And why it says this? Because you have to save it and update it actually down here. Strange. So let's go back. Maybe, it, oh yeah, because I made changes to that page and I didn't update it. Navigate to projects, and that will take us to the projects. And then to navigate again to another page, you simply go here and click on edit page. If you want to delete a page, that is rudimentary. Go here, projects, and delete it. Luckily, it asked me, are you sure? I got very worried. Sometimes there weren't these notifications, and I was very worried at one point that people will just start deleting things left and right. And then to create a menu like we had done on the home page, again, you go to menus, make sure you create a new one. I called mine multiple page menu, and then over here you have that. What is very important is that if you create another page that you prefer to be your home page, you have that option. So if I have this page over here, about page, and I want that one to be my home page, you click here in the bottom, set as home page, and you'll see the little home will switch to this page. We'll keep it here. And that's it. We created custom links, jump links. You can link everything. It's a great way. It's something that is really, really, really welcome. It makes building out headers much more easier now in Brizzy, and that allows you also to bring in external links. Right, everyone, thank you very much. Uh, that was a quick walkthrough of everything that we have. And while we were, I've got, in the meantime, if I could have my webcam, it's too far away. I've got a cat here who occupied me. I've got a cat there, and I've got two dogs under the table keeping me company. Right, so just quickly, one thing first, can you hear me? Um, I think that's the most important. How about considering adding a pull down menu for selecting sub pages and anchors? Absolutely. I uh, agree with that one. Thank you, Raj, Danitza, Carlos. Thank you very much. Hey, guys, you kept me busy tonight, and I'll have to speak to the HR team over at Brizzy, which we don't have, over this uh, extra service that I'm delivering. Right. So, a quick quest, a few questions that I will go and follow up for you, but most of them I'm pretty confident in, and that is. AppSumo, right? We're going to talk about the AppSumo guys in the future, and everyone is going to ask us, what is this AppSumo thing that you are talking about? And that is, I think, last year, right? It was November. November, there was a deal on AppSumo to get Brizzy Cloud with a spe specific few custom domains for lifetime deals. And if you missed that, I know crocodile tears tonight for you, right? And and it's one of those things, I think it's a very, very... Uh, I think, Raj, you mean great, right? Not a great presentation. <laughs> um, it's one of those things. And, and this is what I always talk about lifetime deals when you see when they come out, is that you can buy a lemon or you can buy the next iPhone. You just don't know. And that is the problem with lifetime deals. And I think if I look at where Brizzy Cloud was last year, when the AppSumo deal came out and where it is today, it's almost double the content that was available just alone last year. And the things that I know that the development team is working on, it's going to double probably in the next few months as well. Probably, probably. Don't hold me accountable for that. Uh, any chance running a promo lifetime deal? I would have to WordPress option kind of torn between DV and Brizzy. Sure, that's a big thing, Craig, to be torn a between, but I, I'm not going to judge. Find a chance to a promo running for the 299. The 299 lifetime deal is the promo. That's the heartbreaking truth that that is actually the promo. So if you want to grab that one, that is what you're going to get. And, and this one is confusing a little bit. This is WordPress lifetime deal. And when you buy this, you're going to get two years of Brizzy Cloud Studio for free. 
Okay, so you're going to get those two years for free. And then after those two years, if you want to continue with unlimited custom domains, you're going to pay 99 US dollars. That is the full studio plan. So you're getting two years for free. And after that, you can go and check. The guys just updated it this week. And one of the questions you kept asking me during this is, when is this, when is that going to happen? Truly, guys, if you've been watching the YouTube channel, you will know that I've posted the same video three times in the last month because they kept making changes to it. That's how it works. There was a decision made. We're going to do Brizzy Cloud like this. And then they decided to make the free, no custom domains. And I made that video. And then Dimitri told me this week, I'm sorry, we have to change it. We are including one custom free domain. And as the question is, if your Brizzy free cloud doesn't show you that custom domain if it still shows xyamer sorry if cat is attacking me if if that brizzy cloud free still shows you you have to upgrade do a hard refresh log out log in log out log in and you will see that it's better okay so the other questions that i have here is do i need to point to http and https i'll find out for you but my answer for that one is no you don't a Weber integration, which I don't know what that one is, but I'm going to find out for you or whether it's been linked. And then one of the requests I actually, Aina, I actually got this week was whether uh, the team function in Brizzy Cloud can be linked to projects and not to sub accounts. Otherwise, you have maybe team members, and that is, I think, actually a very good request. Yes, exporting, cloning your pages e-commerce and blogging they are all in the works we just have to wait now for that all right so guys those questions that i couldn't get to i i'll try my best to help you out with that maybe we can put up like a a q and a session one evening just q and a and we don't do a webinar you bring your questions and i will drag one of the guys from our support team in here and then we can go through all the questions you guys may have for this Got to run, Adrian. Have a good night. I'll see you again around. So, guys, we're also wrapping up here. I told you we're going to be on the hour for tonight. No special reveals. Let's quickly talk then about next week because next week we are going to have a different kind of... And before we talk about next week, 50% discount on Brizzy Cloud. 15%? Is that all? Yes, that's all. 15% discount. If you want to sign up for any other additional packages to Brizzy Cloud, whether it's Studio Pro, you can expect that 15% discount in the mail very shortly. Next week, we're looking... Uh, here is this one again. So before I get to next week, because I'm very excited about next week, uh, last 1,000 Brizzy Word Pro lifetime licenses. And that's the one that we've talked about with this deal, which is 299 US dollar, which is the deal. There's no discount on the 299. You're going to get two years of Brizzy Cloud Studio for free, which means those 99 per year, you're getting that for free for two years. Okay, uh, nothing but Brizzy Pro. So, yes, next week we're going to have the guys or the girls over from Jivo Chat. I'm having Joan with me next week. Now, Jivo Chat is an interactive app that you can chat with people who come to your website. They leave you questions. And, you know, we're trying to do every second week, bring somebody else onto the show so that you can have a little bit of exposure to other kind of things out there. And Jivo Chat is going to show you how you can put Jivo Chat on WordPress as well as Brizzy Cloud. So it's not that it's only confined to WordPress. It's also possible that you can integrate it with Brizzy Cloud, I hope. Great. So please check out for your emails. Uh, see you then in next week. Let's say good night, everyone. Stay safe. Uh, I hope all of this can be over soon and we can go outside to our gardens. And then after five minutes in the gardens, we're going to come back and sit in front of our computers because that's what we usually do. Maswin, thank you very much. Ciao, Michael. Huenan, uh, lekker slap, everybody. Arrivederci, Vidas. Thank you very much, guys. See you next week. Have a good night. Have a good day. Right. And do it the Brizzy way. Mm, that sounds like a new slogan. <laughs>